We are evaluating ALS tolerant grain sorghum. Through Extension, it's very important that we are involved in these trials because we are working directly with our local producers, our local grain sorghum producers, and we are providing them unbiased results regarding the control of these herbicides and how effective they are. And as our farmers look at their bottom line and their net return, it's very important that they understand the best time at which to apply the herbicides and the proper rates at which to apply their herbicides. Of course, historically, we have not been able to control grass see weeds in grain sorghum because we're controlling a grass in a grass. The ALS tolerant gene was actually located by Kansas State from Shatter Cane and through natural breeding has been incorporated into several grain sorghum varieties that are in research and development with Pioneer Crop Production and Advanta Seeds. Um, at this location we are evaluating the ALS grain or the um, the ALS herbicide Zest. Zest is a new formulation of a Nick Sulfuron herbicide labeled by DuPont Crop Protection. And we're looking at different rates of that herbicide at different growth stages to control grass in grain sorghum. Of course, grassy weeds, just like any weed, can be a significant problem for crop production because we're competing for water, nutrients, and even light. Nick Sulfuron herbicide is labeled to control grassy weeds including shatter cane, volunteer wheat, volunteer grain sorghum, um, uh, barnyard grass, foxtails, and we are even in this plot seeing very good control with our Johnson grass species. Of course, uh, when the herbicide is applied, it is critical that we look at the timing of that application, not only for the crop, but also the size of the weed. Um, we are looking at a, a a weed or a grassy weed that's generally two to four inches tall. We're not going in as a rescue treatment trying to control three to four feet tall grassy weed species. Um, and for our crop production, we are looking at an application over the top in sorghum um, from three leaf through seven leaf. In this trial, we had two applications of our zest herbicide. We had a one 12 ounce per acre treatment and we came back on all plots with a second treatment uh, one month later so that we could control a, a, a second flush of Johnson grass in these plots. We have seen that it is critical to include a broad leaf herbicide with this as well because of course the zest herbicide is only controlling those grassy weed species. Another thing that we have really found to be critical is having a pre-emergent herbicide also, especially for those broadleaf weeds. This trial is also being conducted though in other locations throughout the state of Texas um, by our extension partners in the state of Oklahoma as well as in Kansas. And that is very important so we can see how these herbicides perform um, under different growing conditions. These results will be used by DuPont Crop Production in their final stages of research and development of the Zest herbicide. It is anticipated that this herbicide will be released along with the ALS tolerant grain sorghum in 2016.